So in this example, we're going to look at a little bit more notation for factorials. Here I have n factorial on the top and 4 factorial on the bottom. We're going to use 4 factorial to try and figure out like what n factorial would actually look like. So the first number I do when I take 4 factorial is write 4, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply it by 3. And then I take that and I multiply it by 2. And then multiply that by 1. So writing this down then, I see that the first number I wrote was 4, so that's just like writing n. And then I've got 3, and I have 3 because it's 1 less than 4. So that is 3 is the same as like 4 minus 1. So up here I'm going to write n minus 1. Once again, that's corresponding to 3 and the 4. Next I have 2, which corresponds to well, 1 less than 3, right? And 3 is 1 less than 4, so in reality 2 is 2 less than 4, so it's like n minus 2. And then I would have 1, which is 3 less than 4, so this would be like n minus 3, and here 4 stops. However, if this was, let's say, 40 down here, I would have 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 all the way down here and so it would keep going and I can use that to extrapolate the fact that this is like n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 times n minus 5 so forth and it would continue all the way down and regardless of what number I stop, start with I always stop with well 1 so my last number up here would be times 1 so all the way down there